Hello YouTube world. Brace yourself. It's me again, YouTube world. Jazz, the artist. This is the first mural I did. I posted a video earlier when I first started this video, but it was a little bit pixelated. So I decided to give you new viewers as well as current viewers Another taste of my first mural, the Winnie the Pooh mural, which I did for my niece. Um, right here, of course, as you can tell, we have the grass and the trees, and as well as this mushroom that a lot of um, people who have seen the mural in person have fallen in love with. I'm not sure why. But once again, this is my first mural. I started off with a, a different sketches rough drafts of how I wanted to put this whole mural together since it was my first one and just found different um, Winnie the Pooh pictures online as well as just using their technique of creating Winnie the Pooh and using it within my own mural so right here we have the butterflies and the infamous Winnie the Pooh's house it's Pooh Bear. I never understood why all of some of their letters were backwards. <laughs> like right here, ring bell. Like I did the G backwards. Excellent. Anyway, we move on down to his honey. Anybody need any honey? Honey for the Pooh Bear. And we have the mailbox as well. Connected to the house. The tree was, I think, that was my best part of the entire mural, just getting this entire tree down. This is kind of like the focal point of the entire mural. So once you come into the room, um, your eye is drawn from the house and just makes your eye continue to the rest of the mural. Uh, we have the flowers, the walkway. Oh yes, and yes, she is in love with a lot of Winnie the Pooh characters, as you can see on their nightstand <laughs> anyway back to the mural uh, more trees and I just wanted this to be an entire world of Winnie the Pooh so there are no break points everything flushes together and continues as we go from wall one to wall two and wall two consists of all of the characters right here for starters we have Tigger who's playing the cymbals we have Rue or kangaroo playing the trumpet we have mr rabbit playing the drums we have piglet playing the trombone and the pooh bear who is the band director or the maestro we also have a little bluebird in the blue sky um the whole theme of this mural they are Five of us in my family and all of us are artistically inclined as well as musical inclined so I wanted to you know use the characters representing each member of the family and surprisingly or not most of us played some not but not all of these instruments that you see the characters are playing so Tigger I enjoy drawing Tigger he was cool uh, Roo, 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 playing the trumpet. Mr. Rabbit again. Piglet. It's supposed to be my sister. Because <laughs> she played the trombone. And so um, this was a not difficult project, but just getting the characters holding the particular instruments. Since, of course, I don't think I've ever seen Piglet play a trombone in any of the Winnie the Pooh cartoons. And we have Pooh, the conductor once again. And now onto the back wall, once again, the trees as well as the bushes and the grass, everything runs together. Just a, continu a continuous flow of art and Pooh. And right here we have a beautiful butterfly as well as more trees and the gravel. Now let this move to the next wall uh, pardon me pardon me excuse me excuse me and now we are on the other part of the back wall 
And who do we have? Anybody? Anybody? Bueller? 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 Anybody? <laughs> you all remember that movie? Anyway, this is Eeyore and Ava's band. That's my niece's name, Ava. So we have Eeyore carrying the band on his back. Um, he was a lot of fun to paint and just, I don't know, something about painting Eeyore that added the final touch to this mural. And onto the back wall, once again, we have more trees going over the doorway of the closet. And we come on back down and we go on to her dresser, which you see a lot of poo merchandise. <laughs> and none but the less, but Mr. Owl. Actually, he was the first character that I actually started on. Uh, I kind of started between him and Pooh's house and just getting the colors down um, just to match them as close as possible as the actual characters themselves and the gopher remember this guy right here he whistles and he digs in the ground he has his little hard hat on and he does that little <whistles> poo <laughs> and we have another wonderful tree I just enjoyed drawing these uh, just drawing the trunks of each of the trees, just adding the details after I laid down just a base color, brown, worked my way from dark to light, and just building up the texture of the tree itself as well as its leaves. Um, this being my first mural, um, it came pretty simple. Uh, just because I did a lot of research and just practiced before I actually laid anything down on the wall, just did a lot of rough drafts, like I said from the beginning and just, I don't know, went ahead head first. And to my surprise, uh, it came out very, very, very nice. And from the for the bottom portion, I wanted the mural to start from the bottom up, but knowing that she would have furniture in the room, you, were, you would be unable to see the characters. So I started the mural probably about two to three feet from the ground and the surrounding border beneath them is a pink um, fuchsia color because this is a girl's room and it worked very well with the rest of the mural those that green bouncing off um, the fuchsia color it just brought the mural together and if you stand in here for long enough it feels like you're in one big <laughs> cartoon episode of Winnie the Pooh and just going around the room one more time so you can see it flowing together, Pooh's house. And this mural took uh, quite a bit of time to finish. Because <laughs> at the time I was coming back and forth from um, where I originally live to up here to complete the mural or to work on the mural. So I was coming out here once or twice a day out of every week. And, you know, just slowly working on it, buying more paint, running out of paint, uh, just trying to get everything down perfectly. So once again, this is my Winnie the Pooh mural. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And feel free to contact me at jasminhowell.blogspot.com. J-A-S-M-A-N-H-O-W-E-L-L, blogspot.com. Winnie the Pooh, it's the mural. Winda Pooh. And I will definitely be back with more murals as well as more of my creations. Thank you and have a wonderful day. <laughs>